New information tonight about a story we first brought you last night right here on RTV6 News at 11. We are learning more about how a five-year-old ended up miles away from home. The bus company for Andrew J. Brown Academy admits the driver dropped the kindergartner off at the wrong stop, and he pulled off even after being told about the mistake. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet is live on the east side for us on this story. Ebony. Todd, the family of this five-year-old girl says after she was dropped off at the wrong stop, she walked for several blocks with two students she had never met before, before eventually knocking on the door of a stranger. I'm blessed that she came to my house. She could have went to a pervert's house. Nisha McCulley was sitting here at her Indianapolis home when she got an unexpected visit Monday. Well, I heard somebody kind of tapping on my door, and I looked out, and I saw this little child standing out there, and I said, yes. And she said, can I use your phone to call my mommy? Uh, the bus driver uh, let me off the bus. The little girl was five-year-old DeAsia Powers. After school, she rode the bus from Andrew J. Brown Academy, but didn't make it home. On her jacket, it says 42nd and Midhoffer. This is Shady Lane. Power's family says her stepfather was about five miles away, waiting to greet the kindergartner here at her bus stop after her first day riding the bus. Five-year-old child, she's in a strange neighborhood. I, I just don't understand what the bus driver was doing. When she told him, I don't know where I'm at, if he'd have just stopped and took a moment, that's all it took was a moment to look. He couldn't do that. Teresa Bates is Power's grandmother. She blames the bus company for the mistake. BUSMART SAYS MONDAY MORNING A SCHOOL ADMINISTRATOR TOLD THEIR DRIVER, DAN REES, HE WAS GETTING A NEW STUDENT, A KINDERGARTNER, WHO WOULD HAVE HER ADDRESS PINNED TO HER JACKET. BUT THEY SAY BY THE AFTERNOON, HE HAD FORGOTTEN. OVER THE PHONE, THE OWNER OF BUSMART SAYS REES IS ON TWO WEEKS UNPAID LEAVE. THIS IS A VERY GOOD MAN WHO IS A VERY FINE MAN, A CHURCH GOING MAN WHO HAS A RELATIONSHIP WITH THE LORD AND HAS A CONSCIENCE. and. Um, has done an excellent job for six years, and he's made a mistake. And so to crucify him, I'm not going to do. I don't think two weeks is good enough. When you're carrying somebody's child, that's precious cargo. That's the precious thing you can carry. And, you know, the outcome just came out with a blessing. It could have came out way worse. We reached out to Reeves, leaving him a voicemail, but he did not return our telephone call, and a spokesperson tells us that the school is conducting its own investigation. Reporting live on the east side, Ebony Monet, RTV6.